Welcome to Vintage Coin App Restorations and one of our latest projects. Well, I shouldn't say latest because it's been a while. Uh, we've had these in the shop for some time, but uh, I'll tell you why we we're holding off a little bit. Uh, one of the neatest things about this machine, Junkyard, uh, it's from the 1970s, uh, is you got this crane that's picking up all these cars and you're putting them in hoppers. And if you're familiar with some of the arcade games, uh, Williams in 1956 made uh, Williams Crane. And the object of that game was to pick up beans and put them into a hopper just like this. And um, uh, by, also by weight, uh, you can be an expert uh, crane boss or an apprentice. Uh, but AmeriCoin made it one step better, and they did that with an audio tape. Um, it's an 8-track player literally inside uh, the machine. And... Um, when they made these, uh, I'm sure at the time it was the cat's meow, but as we know, those 8-track players, they just don't like, they don't like to be moved or anything, and uh, right now we have one 8-track player working, and it works pretty well. The other two are just tape eaters, and uh, we had one other 8-track tape, and it just completely ate it up, so uh, we're going to hold off on the... Uh, uh, visiting any sources, uh, an audio card would be the next uh, the next step for us to uh, install. But uh, the machines uh, came to us in pretty bad shape. Uh, the cabinets had to be kind of spiffed up, uh, re-glued, um, and we did a little uh, black painting uh, around the sides to match the existing. It was like done in a black satin paint. Uh, the graphics on the sides, on all of them are pretty good, but you can see that you know, this has seen uh, a lot of water. Um, they're made out of press board, and they just took in a lot, a lot of moisture. But the problem with these machines when we got them, basically, was everything was locked up. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, going over uh, uh, the grease inside the tracks were, like, literally like cement. Uh, so it was taking all that stuff out, greasing them up. Um, in fact, we had four of these, and one became a parts machine so we can cherry pick and have the best of all, uh, of, of uh, you know, out of that one machine, we were able to take a little bit of everything and make all these in really nice uh, condition. Uh, the machines are set up for free play on all three of them and uh, for coin. Uh, they pretty much play all the same except for this one to the right. Uh, it's kind of done in reverse and I'll show it to you in a minute when we uh, start the game. So let's start here on the left. Uh, my partner Jeff is going to start her up. And this is the one with the audio tape. So you got to find a car that you want to get. can be tricky because you can't just drop it on it. You kind of have to come close to it and pick off the top. There you go. Come on, Jeff. With all the times you played this game, you should be a professional. There we go. We've got one. Now what we're doing on this one is we're going to put it in hopper number one. hard to maneuver what you're doing is you got an up and down and you got the red button there that opens and closes the claw and at the same time Jeff is using his hand here to turn the crane the right way so he did pick something up a half a car or a trailer now you can see ah he dropped it again now he's gonna bring the crane back Go. 
Come on, Jeff, get it in there. All right, shows the light there says car. When that light was flashing, if you could put another car in there, you would have got some extra time. It's kind of neat with the audio. Oh, light just kicked on. And that's just a random thing. That's just on a set on a on a timer. So come on, Jeff, pick one, pick one up. Here we go. I'm not gonna get back over there. She's flashing. I don't have enough time. You don't have enough time? No. All right, so you're gonna go for hopper number two. Here you go, 30 tons. Now it's saying if we get it in the hopper number two, we get extra time. There we go. Ha ha ha, there we go. Not nearly as easy as it looks. There we go, we got another one. Our time is almost up. There's a little clock up on top there. And when it hits the top there, it will be... Right. It, oh, oh our claw got stuck with a car in it. <laughs> Happens from time to time. Well, we're going to shoot over here to number two. Now, that audio tape in there is uh, pretty cool. It sounds great. So the gameplay is completely different without the noise. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna shoot for number two. There you go. Yeah, so you have to see his hand motion. He is now with this hand spinning it. And now he's going to bring it to the hopper and he's going to release it with his thumb. Actually, I'm going to press this one. All right. Okay, he's coming around. <laughs> oh, we got a hefty oh, load there. Double car. Double car load. Ah, oh, the light just went out. Could have got extra time. He's got another one in there. There you go. Oh, they're calling him a crane boss right now. Up on top there, the red light's on. And you can see you got extra time over there. That's in the timing uh, tower. The timer stops for, for a little bit. Oh, so when they say extra time, that's what it is. It's actually yeah. just... Oh! <laughs> right there. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to shoot for hopper number three. There you go. Oh, another big load. Set the claws in the window that's going to maybe get stuck. Yeah, sometimes that claw just hooks inside there. And you just have to, oh, there it goes. Uh-oh, he's a scale buster. 100 tons. Wow, all that playing really sure paid off for you there, Jeff.
Now you can see the light went off and now the timer is starting to move again. All right, well, let's move over to the third one. Nicely done. Yeah, the light <laughs> turns yeah. on right at, right after you uh, <laughs> drop it in there. All right, come on, let's get some more. All right, we're gonna get ah. Now this machine is a little different. And you'll see that as he puts the claw, push it in there. You're gonna have to. This one you have to, I believe, is hold hold the button in. Jeff, is that correct? Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, so yeah. he's got a nice load there. He's got his thumb on the button. Four cars. Oh, don't get too close. Extra time, and we get him in. Whoa. A couple. Of them went in. Yeah, we got a couple there. Then we got up to 40 tons over there now. Yeah, for whatever reason, this machine um, set up the same, but through electronics or something, it is set up that you have to hold your thumb in on this one. There you go, extra time. And like I said, when you get extra time, the light goes on and the clock actually stops for a little, for a brief uh, amount of time. Oh, light just went back on. Yeah, I think there's a way of adjusting it in the back to the amount of time right. you get for free. Well, there you have it. If you're in a market for a junkyard or you need one restored, give us a call. Um, these are pretty tough machines to work on. Um, there's just so many uh, different things. We pretty much stay with uh, uh, EM machines, but this was uh, had, a, had, a, had a lot of uh, issues. But uh, out of the four that we had, uh, we got three that at least we can play them now and enjoy uh, this time warp machine junkyard from the 1970s. Where are we going for hopper one or two? Oh, he just dropped. Game over. <laughs> Game over. There you have it. Again, if you have one of these machines for sale or you need one restored, give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel.